the Ultima Chase is the first handicap of the week. It's a Grade 3 handicap chase. We've got a good big field for this, as we like to see, although the top weight has pushed quite a few of them out of the weights. Woodlands at the top, one with Leon Van Rensburg, the teacher Joshua Sutherland, Verd Ocean, Darren Thompson, Jewel Flower, Leon Van Rensburg, Blazer Trail, Craig Beckwith, Devil's Harmony, Darren Thompson, Look Sharp, Martin Leader, Eskimo Star, John Morgan, Bring Me Luck, for Graham Clutterbuck, Mingan Landing, Daniel French, Not a Bad Lad, John Morgan, Charming Woman, Craig Beckwith, Long Term Project for Graham Clutterbuck, Forest Jump, Stu Gray, Andre the Giant, Matt Cooper, Pompey Millennium and El Villar Mutt for Vinnie Gerard and Zelos Smirk. All Padre Hogan is the bottom one. 18 of them then. And this called in and away. Nice chance for some of the lesser trainers to get a shot at the leaderboard and the winning enclosure. And as they head towards the first of the 18 fences, the first one they take will be the fence, or the, the uphill fence away from the stand. And the leader really stood off that and did well to stay on board the jockey. So not a bad lad. Very nearly was a bad lad at the first. And departed, but he's still in the lead. It's a John Morgan 1-2, so the pace is going to be hot in this one. And you're going to need to stay the full three miles, OK, I think. And you're going to need to do some decent jumping because if they carry on at the pace they're at at the moment and there's one down already there's two down already jewel flower and pompey millennium have gone so the jumping definitely will be the name of the game here with not a bad lad sitting a strong pace over the water which they'll all get over okay verd oceans moved through into second then bring me luck and eskimo star look sharp is after that one and then el villar mutt is next as they take this ditch uh, there's another one gone down there, and it's the top white Woodlands has gone. So Leon Van Rensburg has lost both of his horses in the first four fences in this one, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of people looking at that and saying that Woodlands has pushed the weights up and made a load of these running out of the handicap, and now he's not even in the race, which has made it for many of them a bit of a disadvantage, but it's not a bad lad in the lead. Some of those ones that are running off their proper ways are now going to be thinking they're in with a great chance as that Gold Cup standard horse is out of the race. And it's not a bad lad who's clear by six to Verd Ocean in second. Then Eskimo Star is third. Bring Me Luck is fourth. Then Look Sharp is after that one. Bit of a gap back to Blazer Trail and Devil's Harmony. Then comes Ming and Landon and the teacher. El Villar Mutt after that one and Zelo Smirk. Andre the Giant Forest Jump long term project and finally had a shot just charming woman but it's not a bad lad who races downhill towards fence number seven uh, skips over that nicely mistake by the second John Morgan horse Eskimo starts on that one lose third to look sharp and bring me luck is after that one in fifth then after that we've got Blazer Trail who's getting closer so going nicely at the moment Ming and Landon and creeping around the outside the teacher who's the classiest horse left in the race but not a bad lad is in the lead by about three lengths to Verd Ocean in second Eskimo Stars regained third on the flat from Look Sharp who settled in fourth then Blazer Trail is fifth then comes Devil's Harmony and the teacher Ming and Landon as they take the eighth which they all stream over nicely with long-term project. Now just the back marker, they take fence number nine, which they all take nicely, and they race now towards the turn and head off for one more complete circuit of Presbury Park. And not a bad lad leads the ultimate field from stablemate Eskimo Star has moved through in a second. Verd Ocean is third and Look Sharp is four as they take this fence that leads them away from the stands. Mistake towards the rear by Bring Me Luck. But it's the Morgan pair who've got the lead. Not a bad lad at Eskimo Star. From Look Sharp and Verd Ocean together in third. Then after that one comes Devil's Harmony. Blazer Trail is next. Then El Villar Mutt. Forest Jump getting closer as they take this plain one. Ah, there's a faller there. It's Devil's Harmony gone. So Darren Thompson, another one of the big guns, has departed as they come down towards the water. And not a bad lad, an Eskimo star will lead them over it. From Look Sharp, who's now gone third. Verd Ocean is fourth. Then comes the teacher, Blazer Trail. El Villar Mutt is next. And there's a gap of a couple of lengths back to Forest Jump and Ming and Landing and Charming Woman as they take this ditch. And over that one, it's not a bad lad who continues to lead. Eskimo star is still there in second. Look Sharp and Verd Ocean third and fourth as they take this plain one. This is the 14th of the 18. And they're all safely over that one with not 
not a bad lad still in front. Now Verd Ocean has moved through in a second. Look Sharp is third. Then Blazer Trail getting closer. Eskimo Star is next. The Teacher is running on nicely. El Villar Mott is next. Zelo Smirk is also trying to come into it. They've only got four to go. This is the final ditch. Over it they go. And it's not a bad lad from Verd Ocean. And El Villar Mott has moved through into third. Look Sharp has now dropped back into fourth, coming under pressure. Blazer Trail is next. Then the teacher is getting closer. And Eskimo Stars dropping away. But Stable Mate, not a bad lad, continues to lead with three to jump. But Verd Ocean looks to be travelling nicely on the outside. Blazer Trail looks to be the big danger. They're moving into third. And also Bring Me Luck is coming around the outside. And also Charming Woman as well over the second last. Verd Ocean made a mistake. Blazer Trail into the front. Blazer Trail's gone on. Then two to jump. Blazer trailing the lead. Not a bad lad now. Looks beaten. El Villar Mott moves into second. Bring Me Luck has moved around the outside into fourth. Charming Woman's coming into it as well. They race down towards the second last fence then now. And Blazer Trail is in the lead. It looks like Craig Beckwith's got a strong hand to play in this one. It's Blazer Trail in front. From in second place, El Villar Mott. Bring Me Luck coming around the outside. Then comes Verd Ocean trying to get back into it after that mistake. Blazer Trail in the lead. Here comes Bring Me Luck. Bring Me Luck runs in front. Bring Me Luck gets away from it well. It's Bring Me Luck coming down towards the final fence. Gets over it in the lead. Verne Ocean's trying to get back into it. Blazer Trail now beaten in third. But it's Bring Me Luck for Graham Glutterbuck, who's racing up the hill towards the line. He's two to three lengths clear from Verne Ocean in second. Blazer Trail back in third. Not a bad lad fourth. But Bring Me Luck is going to take it for Graham Glutterbuck. Bring Me Luck wins the Ultima. Verne Ocean is second. And then Blazer Trail third. Not a bad lad four. Charming woman over the line. Forrest Chuck, the teacher, looks sharp. And all the way back to Andre the Giant who was the last one to finish and Graham Clutterbuck on the board early the first of the lesser lights to get a winner and bring me luck I had a bit of a mistake I think somewhere in the second circuit but recovered from it okay to take that one pretty cosily off well I'm out of the weights so it's a win for bring me luck for Graham Clutterbuck second was Verd Ocean for Darren Thompson, Blazer Trail third for Craig Beckwith, not a bad lad fourth for John Morgan, and fifth charming one from Craig Beckwith. You can see from the from the running there, there were only three horses in the weights in that race, and really there's going to be a question of whether that race should be capped at 140 or something because.